Hi everyone, my name is Sheikh Hussain. I have been teaching chemistry for the past 22 years for IIT JE NEET and state board exams. In this video series, I am going to explain all important questions for intermediate for the students who are studying in Andhra and Telangana. I will provide short, simple and to the point explanation for the all the answers to help you score full marks. The study material I am going to use in this video series is carefully prepared by my friend Santosh Kumar Reddy, PGT Chemistry. For regular updates, do follow my channel and join our WhatsApp group using link in the description. Hello everyone, in this video we are going to discuss Ostwald's process. The question here is, how is nitric acid prepared by Ostwald's process? This is one of the important questions for 4 marks and generally it will be asked in public exam for 4 marks and sometimes the chemical properties of uh, nitric acid uh, with copper, zinc, sulfur and phosphorus also may be asked. But in this video, our discussion is limited to only Ostwald's process that is the preparation of nitric acid. Okay, let's start the discussion. The nitric acid is prepared on large scale by Ostwald's process. This is a three step process. Okay, we'll discuss uh, step by step. The first process, oxidation of ammonia to nitric oxide. See here, the ammonia undergo oxidation to give nitric oxide. Here you have to remember the reaction 4NH3 plus 5O2 gives 4NO plus 6H2O. To remember this reaction and uh, most of the students get confused uh, uh, while learning or remembering this reaction. So I will give few hints here to remember. Here this is 4 moles of ammonia and 5 moles of oxygen and then the product side 4 moles of nitric acid and nitric oxide 6 moles of water here if you just get it 4 5 45 4 6 46 so if you can remember these uh, stoichiometric uh, coefficients and it is easy for you uh, before going to that uh, you have to remember uh, what are the reactants reactants are ammonia and oxygen and the products are nitric oxide and water. If you can remember these reactants and products and you can easily write the number of moles. Here 4 moles of 4 moles of ammonia, 5 moles of oxygen, 45, 4, 5, 45 and here 4, 6, 46. That's all. This is the first step. The first step involves the oxidation of ammonia into nitric oxide and in the second step oxidation of nitric oxide whatever nitric oxide formed in the first step it again undergoes oxidation to give nitrogen dioxide nitric oxide is oxidized to nitrogen dioxide by air at temperature below 100 degrees celsius so here it is a, here is a reaction so in this reaction here the 2 is missing here, here there will be 2 2NO plus O2 gives 2NO2. It's a very simple reaction. 2NO2 2 moles of nitric oxide combines with oxygen gives 2NO2 nitrogen dioxide. That's all. And in the last step, formation of nitric acid. Formation of nitric acid. Don't be confused. NO is called nitric oxide and HNO3 is called nitric acid. This is an acid. This is oxide, nitric oxide NO. Right. Nitrogen dioxide is then absorbed by water in presence of air to form nitric acid. Whatever nitrogen dioxide we got in the step 2, that nitrogen dioxide absorbed by water in the presence of oxygen converted to nitric acid. So here also uh, some students get confused about this number of moles particularly. So here whatever the number of moles of nitric oxide formed that is 4 moles of nitric oxide in the first step and in the second step we use 2 moles of nitric oxide and here we got the product uh, nitrogen dioxide this nitrogen dioxide we use 4 moles in the last step 4NO2 plus 2H2O plus O2 gives 4HNO3 that's all the formation of nitric acid by Ostwald's process Ostwald's process is an industrial process uh, in which uh, we can prepare nitric acid in a large scale means in a huge amount of nitric acid can be prepared for industrial purpose. 